brought to you by the Every Dollar app. Start budgeting for free today. So I'm trying to figure out um, if I step away from work, if I'm going to financially ruin my family. Ooh. Mm. Let's talk more about that. Why do you feel like that could be the case? Um, so I make about double what my husband brings in and he works at a small business. Um, so they don't offer like healthcare or retirement plans or anything like that. And like, he's never going to leave that. That is his life. Okay. What, what does he I earn? And I love him. Like what are the real um, numbers? Here, um, so he earns about 60 and I work earn about 115 okay. roughly. And how old are your kids? Um, I have a four-year-old, a three-year-old, a two-year-old, and a one-month-old. Wow. Oh, Ashley. Oh, my you're Lord. In, you're in it. I feel like we should just like take a moment and pray. I just, just for, like... almost fell asleep just <laughs> listening to that. That's crazy. <laughs> Goodness. Oh, man. Okay, so, and I totally get this, Ashley. Like, after my third, actually, when I was pregnant with my third, it was the moment I was like, oh, man, do I want to go back to this work thing? What do I, What does this yeah. look like for me? So, like, this... This heartstring that moms feel, it is so real. And so for you, you're a month into a new baby. You have three little ones around. Mm -hmm. And um, mm -hmm. what does your husband say when you're saying, golly, my, I, I'm feeling, you know, pulled in this direction? Well, he, he says that we'll figure it out and it'll be fine. But he feels like if I do step away that I'm not going to feel fulfilled to stay at home. He feels like... I was meant to work and that I'll get bored. Well, I think that you, I feel like no one's going to know that better than you, how you'll feel. Right. So yeah. it's possible that being new, you know, after having a baby for the first time and you're just a couple of months in, it's possible that you're feeling more emotions in the moment and that you could step away and feel a little bit like, okay, if several months have passed now I'm feeling better about this that is possible but I do think at the core you probably do know yourself best my question like when I'm looking at all of this I'm just really wondering if you do get to the point where you decide I want to stay home can you actually afford to do it because I feel like that otherwise you wouldn't be calling this show so that's really the question is what's your financial situation above what you both earn um I mean we're we're doing the baby steps for we're honestly we're doing pretty well we okay. um we're debt free we have a fully funded emergency fund we own our house outright oh and great for rental okay and can you have you have you done a budget with just his income just to see if you know from basic necessities if everything would be okay oh so we have and it it's so tight. It's going to feel tight. It's covered with my work. And so if we went to his, we would be about $2,000 short a month. Oh. If we start paying, if we get insurance on his. So, and I don't know where to cut or what to do. Because $2,000, yeah, that's a significant gap. That's not 200 Is there something you yeah. could do to bring that in to where you're still not working full time, but you're closing that gap? while still staying at home? Um, I'm not sure. I haven't really looked into that. Okay, I, and why doesn't he look at for another job? That's another I know, point. I know you said that that this is his life, but, like, what what's the situation? Um, I mean, it's, this is his life. He He's known what he wanted to do since he was 12 years old. Like, Yeah, but what is, he, what, what is it? What is it? Doing it. What is it? What is it? Oh, well, he partially owns the business. It's um, he, he is a uh, martial arts instructor. Okay. So is there so a path to, is there a path to growing the business to where he's earning more basically is what I'm asking. There definitely is, but it probably won't be for like another year or so. Okay. So, years. okay. So I think what it gets down to Ashley is you guys, you and your husband, y'all have to sit down and decide what is, what is a priority for our family? What does a priority look like? What are our values mm -hmm. when you both have desires that are conflicting, right? He has a desire to stay in a job um, where financially you wouldn't be able to do it. Mm -hmm. um, you It would force you to work. And is that for him greater than having his wife who doesn't want to go to work be forced to go to work? Do you know what I mean? Like there's a, there's a level for me where I'm like, man, 
there's something about and then and if you work Ashley I'm like you're paying child care for four kids that's a lot so there's a yeah. point too that your yeah. income at that point it starts to dwindle really quickly for that and so I don't know I uh, there there is something in me that I I don't know and Jade you can you can correct me on the other side I, I fight for the mom that wants yeah. to be home with her kids I really do I, because I, do too. I think some moms us Jade and I we love to work and mm -hmm. so we're working and it's great but when you have that feeling, so I've had that feeling before, Ashley, we're like, I just know this for this season, this is where I'm supposed to be. And here's the deal too, Ashley, it may mm -hmm. not be forever. Mm -hmm. It may that you yeah. guys do it for three years and then, you know, Regroup. half of the kids are in school and maybe one has a five day a week program yeah. and, you know, like, and, and you start going back, yeah. going back in. Um, but motherhood is such a seasonal time and and I really do. I fight for women to be able to honor that. And the thing that sucks is that the math has to math. That's what we 100%. Would say. Yeah. And so something has to give, Ashley. So there either has to be a level that you say, hey, part time, I'm going to do something on the side to bring an in income, like Jade said, or the only other, or you go back to work full time, or he has to find a different situation um, to sustain the life that you guys both want, right? So. And um, when you're crunching those numbers, be careful because I want to make sure that you're crunching them. If you're doing your budget, your lifestyle as it is with both incomes and you say, hey, we could get this. We just we're just two thousand dollars away. That's pretty good. That might just be the difference in you changing your lifestyle a little bit. Does that make sense? Yeah. Is this a lifestyle yeah. thing or is it? Hey, Jade, even with our bare bones budget, we're two thousand dollars away. I think those are two different it, questions, right? It might be. It probably is the lifestyle thing. I mean, there's definitely things that we could cut. Um, like there's some programs that our kids are in. Um, they but you have to ask like, yourself. Like too old is like they do dance. And, but right. you have to ask yourself about that quality of life too, because there's part of this where I, I could look at this and go, hey, you go out and make an extra thousand. He go out and make an extra thousand. Like that should be easy enough. But if that still just gets you to a barely baseline, how much are you going to enjoy staying home with four kids when you can't put them in any activities? Yeah. yeah so there's, totally. you got things to weigh so out ends. here. Yeah. So maybe there's another option, Ashley, even for you for the time being, or maybe you guys say for a season for three years, we're going to grind it yep. out and you do, and you cut the lifestyle way back. Um, but yeah, yeah. so uh, thanks for the call, Ashley. I don't know if that helps, but I think you guys sitting down <laughs> and deciding what you value the most because something is going to have to have a sacrifice and you guys need to choose that. Create your free every dollar budget today. The simplest way to budget for your life.